we're motivating people with something else, whether it's an inspiring moment, guilt, shame, and fear, or a paycheck that we give them every other week, then we are not motivated by the gospel. And I, for one, don't want to be a part of a movement that isn't motivated by the love of Jesus. It's the first commandment, it's the greatest commandment, and it's by this they're supposed to know we're Christians. Not our bumper stickers and our WWJD bracelets, but by our love. And we're commanded to love our one another, our neighbors as ourselves, and even our enemies. But how can we love our enemies if we can't even get along with ourselves? And it all boils down to one thing. Jesus saw you from heaven and said, I'm in love. And he was willing to cross the universe, to come down and be a man, born of a virgin, born as a baby, needing his swaddling clothes changed on a regular basis, learning to speak, the one who spoke the world into existence. Why? So he could die on a cross and show you how much he loves you. And that, my friends, is the energy behind any movement. And I believe we need to stop trying to energize movements with anything less than the good news. And the good news is Jesus. He has come. He's a king. He is good. And he is powerful. He is righteous. And you, pastor, you can trust him. You can trust him to lead his people better than you to love your people better than you, to care for them when you're not there. And with that kind of love, no one can stop us, not shipwrecks, not beatings, not imprisonment, not even a death sentence can stop a movement motivated by the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you. <laughs>